Hey guys, what's going on? So today's topic is about Valkyrie farming, their fragments, and everything you need to know about that. So first let's take a quick look at a couple of my Valkyries. I mostly have A ranks, a few S ranks in there, like Snowy Sniper. From rank B to A takes 20 fragments. From rank A to S takes 50. From S to SS takes 100. And since I don't have any double S's to show you, I'm 99% sure from double S to triple S takes 200. So you need quite a lot of fragments to evolve your Valkyries, especially later on. Do note that none of the natural S rank Valkyries, like, like Moonbeam or Blood Rose, are farmable, and the only way to get those is, of course, through Gacha. So the main way you're going to be getting these fragments is through farming them in storylines. Personally, I find it easier to actually just look at my fragments here because when you click on them, uh, you can also hit obtain and see where they are farmable. I like it this way to see who I'm really close to, like for example, Shadow Dash, even though I'm not really using her, I would only need eight more shards to get her to rank S, and then perhaps in that case, she'd be viable for some things, so. But Shadow Dash would be someone I would only farm with extra energy. I'm always going for three core Valkyries, which are sort of my main team. This is Scarlet Fusion, Divine Prayer, and Snowy Sniper. So every day with my energy, I'm going to first start with Scarlet Fusion usually, and it doesn't really matter because I'm planning on farming all of these stages anyway. So, you know, I'll start with 4-4. You can see I've already done two runs here. And uh, you just go in there, fight. You can bring a friend to help speed it along if you have some friends. I actually do have some this time, so it's... Uh, I, I, I am a happy boy. Yeah so there are a few other important things when it comes to farming Valkyrie shards. Uh, I was doing some research on this because it was something that uh, piqued my interest. And while I don't believe it's anything official, but apparently there's a 25% chance uh, for a Valkyrie shard to drop uh, when, when you're going on one of these runs. So you can expect maybe one to two per day when I, when you're doing like five stages like I am for uh, Scarlet Fusion here. Another important thing to note, which I actually found out myself while I was uh, still early on and testing things, it doesn't matter if you're in a situation where you can see if you get a Valkyrie drop before the stage ends. Like for example, in this stage here, you, you can see we have a blue mech here and a white mech here. These both drop when the uh, boss stage starts, but only one of them is like the real boss and that's the blue one. This is where the Valkyrie shard would drop from if we would get one. So what I was thinking is, you know, just kill the blue one and uh, if he doesn't drop it, restart the stage. But this doesn't work like this because I've gone like 20 runs and did not see a Valkyrie drop from him. So I figured this is predetermined, so you don't need to do any of that weird stuff. Just play the stage, hope to get lucky, and uh, be done with it. I have played a few games in the past where you could do that. You could kill the boss, see if see if the thing drops, and then, you know, restart the stage if it doesn't, and then that way you'd have a 100% success. But I guess that's something kind of good, because you don't need to worry about that. Uh, your farming time won't be incredibly high because, you know, you don't want to try and get uh, a Valkyrie shard per run. So once you finish with that, of course, you can see if you got it. We didn't, unfortunately. I believe we did get at least one earlier, though, so, you know, that's to be expected. It's unknown if the harder stages have a higher drop chance, although... Uh, it's more leaning on the side where it doesn't matter if you're spending, you know, 18 stamina, 21 stamina, or farming Valkyrie Ranger with 12 stamina here on 1-10. Uh, so it seems to be a lot of speculation, but it is somewhat backed up by uh, experience in runs and uh, sort of average data over a period of time. So what I would recommend is to focus on, like, your core three, maybe four Valkyries, and farm their shards every day so you can raise them up to whatever stage they need to be, whether that's S, double S, triple S, and uh, focus on them. And if you have any extra stamina at the end of the day, you know, you could go for some backup Valkyries. Like, if I'm going to have any extra stamina, I'd probably go for Shadow Dash just for the fact that I'm at 42 out of 50. And I still have a few shards to grab from, like, the event and such also. So, you know, having an s rank Shadow Dash might be nice in, in some situation later on down the line. Besides that, we have the Logistics Terminal. I don't recommend buying any shards for crystals, but there are usually some for gold. And I'm usually buying those, even though I'm constantly having a problem with gold. You know, that might be one of the reasons but two fragments even though it's for crimson impulse two fragments for i think it was like i don't know 26k or something you know it's hard to pass that up my problem with gold might be because i'm trying to raise all the valks and their levels and their skills and that can get very expensive and i am leveling up quite fast hopefully that'll slow down in the next week or two so i can save some gold to raise other things ah yes five more shadow dash fragments from the event shop here 
and that'll put me like to like 57 I think but yeah the final way obviously is through gacha pulls um, that's gonna be your fastest method of course but uh, it can get very expensive very fast or if you're free to play it'll just take a long time to save up the crystals you need to do 10 pulls or such because if you pull a Valkyrie you already have it will get turned into fragments as I've never pulled an S rank and of course never have pulled two S ranks of the same type I don't know how many fragments you get from pulling a duplicate natural S but I do believe you get uh, 17 to 18 when you pull a duplicate A rank so naturally that's a lot of farming you don't have to do when you get a duplicate of course there are events from time to time where you can get more fragments for example shadow dash now we got some fragments for her earlier on from some of her events from beforehand and even today uh, we can get like 10 more shards from the event shop so hopefully your favorite valkyrie maybe shadow dash is your favorite valkyrie who knows but hopefully your favorite valkyrie will come in an event because that will cut down on farming quite a lot as well but yeah that's pretty much it to it as a little summary pick three to four valkyries you like and uh, stick with them use your stamina on farming those stages and with any leftover you can go for a side valkyrie of course if you're earlier on in the game and you can't even farm scarlet fusion then you can go for you know several valkyries until your stamina is gone and if you're much later on in the game where you can farm like all four stages of scarlet fusion then you may have to reduce it to focus on like one or two and since the drop chance seems to be predetermined you don't need to stress about restarting stages or anything just go for it and get it done check the supply shop every day for any you can buy with gold again unless you're super impatient and maybe need like one for your favorite Valkyr don't buy them with crystals like I probably would do it if I'm done with all my farming for the day and I have 99 out of 100 for like snowy sniper or such then yes you know I would cave and definitely give that 48 so I can have her that day sure but in general I don't think it's worth it but yeah that'll do it for today's video make sure to tell me what you think if you have any other tips for farming valkyrie shards of your own make sure to drop them down there in the comments below leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated thanks as always for watching and until next time